today we will be seeing how we can add validations to our form. When you are building a form, validation plays an important role in monitoring the data that the user is filling in the form. So we will be using this form that I have created in which I have added the most used fields. The first one is a text. Next is numeric. Then we have a toggle switch. Then a date. And then at the last a multi-select. These are the data types these controls spit out. So we will begin seeing how to add validations to each of them. First we need to go to the rules. Then select the validation option. Here we can see all the controls that we have on this screen. Let us go to text first and add a validation. Now we need to select the operator, let us select equal to. Then we will select value. Next we will give this the value Rio. And now we need to enter the error message. We can add more validation conditions to this using the AND, OR, OR operators. For this video we will keep it simple. Next we will go to the next field. It is important to notice that the operators that you can apply to the field will change according to the data type of the field. For text field we have operators like starts with ends with. And for numeric we have operators like equal to and less than. We will use the greater than operator for this field. Next option is value and give the value 18. Next we will enter the error message. Now moving on to the next field which is a boolean type. Here we will just see two operators, equal to and not equal to. We will use equal to and next select value and in the value we use one for true and two for false. Since we want the user to agree to the terms we will give this value one. And now write the error message. Next we are going to add validation to the date field. Since the field is being used for delivery date it is obvious that the date must be after today's date. We can do this in multiple ways, like we can have another date control in our form with today's date and compare the value in this field with that value. But for the sake of simplicity we are going to use a static date in this form. So I will choose the operator as after and next as value and then select the date. And finally enter the error message. Next we have a list type control which has multiple options, and we have a different set of operators for this as you can see. So let me select an operator here, contains any, next select value and then give these two values. So what this validation means that in your selection you must have either of the two colors for your entry to be valid. Now the error message. Now we are done with the validations. In our form we have used static values for validation by you can also select a field option to validate a field based on the values entered in another field, like we discussed about the date. There is also an advance operator available that is the regular expression which will come handy while you are trying to build a complex form and want to match the pattern of the entered data to a specific predefined pattern. Now we will save these validations. And go to our form and see how it works. Let me do a preview. And here we have our form. So now I will add a country, let's say New York, and it shows the error message. And now I change the city to Rio and the error is gone. Next I will enter the age as 16 and again I see the error message, when I change this to 21 the error message is gone. Similarly if I do not agree to the terms I see the error message here. Now if I change the date to a date which is before today's, it shows the error that delivery date is not valid. Now if I change it to 20th then there is no error. Next for the checkbox if I select just green I encounter the error message, but when I select red or blue the error message is gone. So this is how validations work. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching. For more videos you can visit our YouTube page.